Hello everyone, welcome back to our Applied Mechanics lessons. I was going through one of the videos I had posted about moments and I realized that I accidentally switched what I meant to say. So I figured let me just make this video to kind of clarify what I meant, okay? So normally when you're dealing with structures, structural um, members, structural components, you would have what we call supports. And there are three main supports that I want us to go through. And as much as in applied mechanics, we mainly touch on two or the two that kind of play a role. Okay, so you would have what we call a fixed support and a fixed support would resist horizontal movement, vertical movement, as well as moments, um, rotations. Okay, then we have a pinned support which is the first one that we do deal with in applied mechanics. And a pinned support will resist horizontal movement as well as vertical movement. So it means whatever is on it will not be moving, either rolling from side to side or being lifted up. And then the third type of support that we have is our roller support. Our roller support, similar to a wheel on a car, it will move horizontally, so it can roll forward and back, but it only resists vertical movement or vertical motion, right? So how this applies specifically in applied mechanics is when you'd have a beam, and if this beam has pin supports, right? This means that this beam has vertical forces of resistance essentially vertical reactions as well as horizontal reactions so in most cases you might find that you are calculating maybe moments where there's a udl and maybe there is a force at an incline how you'd go about this you'd first take your components depending on the angle that you have there you'd have your sine component there you have your cross component there and in essentially or right at the end you would end up with a reaction at a which is vertical reaction at a which is horizontal my handwriting is dodgy sorry reaction at b vertical reaction at b which is horizontal okay but please take note that these they only have something to resist if the forces that are acting on the beam have some sort of a horizontal component to them. If there isn't any vertical component, then your horizontal forces will be equal to zero. All this means is your pin support resists a certain level of horizontal movement. But if that horizontal force it needs to resist has a value of zero, then it doesn't need to resist anything. I hope this makes sense. Then we'll come to our roller support, all right? And this will become a bit more clear in an instance where you have one roller support, one pin support. Let's say you have a UDL there, you have a point load there, and you have an inclined force there, all right? With your roller support, it only resists vertical movement. So that is the only reaction you will have at that point. So reaction at A will only be the vertical movement on there. But when you could get to your reaction at B, it resists both the vertical and horizontal. So a reaction at B will be vertical as well as horizontal. But again, I need to emphasize that it will only be possible if there is some sort of a horizontal component that it needs to resist. So if for argument's sake, this force on here wasn't there, if it didn't have any of this, and you went about the normal way in which you calculate your reactions by taking moments at A, taking moments at B, you would still need to show that you have a value for your RA, which you would get by taking moments at B, and you would have a value for RB by taking moments at A, and then you would still need to show that your um, RB, which is horizontal, is equals to zero. How you go about that? You could take the sum of the horizontal forces and assume a direction for it and equate them to zero, and the only thing you will have will be your RB at H. So I just had to clarify this so we don't get confusing. I think I'll just rectify that video and re-upload it, but I hope this makes sense. 
if you have any questions about support specifically please don't be shy to give me a shout okay cheers <laughs>